It's December 7th, 2017 on a Thursday, and this is day four of my Metafast journey, as I like to say. I, okay, let's start with the statistics as usual. The My weight, I weighed myself again in the morning, uh, is a very interesting and nice 274. That means between this morning and the morning before, I lost 2.2 pounds. I'm just amazed. And then I'm even more amazed that the total loss from day one, this is basically three days because it's Monday, Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning, Thursday morning. I'm here in the evening. Um, I lost a total of 8.6 pounds. I have never lost that much weight in such a short period of time. Try not to get too excited uh, because, um, you know, this is supposed to start once I start to stabilize that that quick weight loss will continue and probably is not so healthy anyway. Uh, but um, yeah, good results. Appreciate that. And uh, looking forward again to tomorrow. I'm guessing I'm, I'm not setting too much expectation, probably be between one and two pounds. Um, so how did I feel uh, overall um, when I was doing the bike this morning, the recumbent bike? Um, about 10 minutes in, I'm going to do 20 minutes now instead of 30 because I'm on this kind of low, low calorie diet. I um, felt a bit tired after about 10 minutes into the workout. I did not have enough energy to really kind of keep going. I had to slow down and really push it to the end. And it was a bit of a struggle, but I did get the full 20 minutes in. I uh, ended up burning about 230 calories. Um, I'm, uh, I didn't feel hungry in the morning. Uh, and the amazing thing is when I put on my business shoes, which are kind of pre-tied, and I don't, I don't tie my shoes, I just keep them tied and slip them on, slip them back on, off and on, they, I was able to slip into my shoes like magic, like just shoot. I, I didn't have any type of struggle or um, anything like that, that where the shoe would feel a little bit tight. I was, I was impressed. And also I have my belt at the same notch uh, and I felt that during the day I was pulling it up a bit. So some instant results that are coming up, uh, clear results for me. And this 274, I, I, you know, I tried to lose weight uh, earlier this year and I was doing that okay. I, I got to that weight before. It would be interesting to get below uh, 270. Uh, that'll be a nice milestone for me uh, because I haven't been that low for a while. As I said, I wasn't feeling hungry. Um, the meals, uh, let's see, um, also eating the meals, after about an hour and a half, I did start to feel a bit running out of energy, kind of looking at the clock. When's the next one coming up? When's the next meal coming up? I really wanted to uh, start to eat something, but I, I really held off. There was one time where I did take my uh, protein pack. I had one third of it and just uh, ate that, I believe, in the afternoon to keep me um, uh, a little bit. Um, it wasn't hunger. I don't know what this, it was the energy level. I didn't feel hungry. I just felt really slow. And that little bit of, of protein did help. I uh, was able to, I had my first weekly meeting today. I had a different person I met. The other uh, nutritionist was already busy. No big deal. They're all kind of the same mind. And I met this uh, new, this other person, all pleasant as usual, I sat down um, and I asked my questions. We, we, we talked a little bit about the results and how I was feeling. And um, I, I was able to uh, ask a few questions. First of all, the good news is I can eat sashimi. And it doesn't matter what type of fish it is. It's raw, and because it's raw, if it's on the if it's tuna, that is your lean, let the least of the leans uh, proteins. And you're supposed to, I think, if I remember correctly, I'm making this number a little bit up. I think if it's if it's five ounces of lean, uh, and that's cooked, since it's sushi and it's not cooked, or sashimi, I should say, not sushi, no, no, no rice. Uh, you can uh, you can get a, a six ounces of sashimi, and so hopefully that helps me feel a little bit fuller. And you can also have soy sauce with it. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. Um, just trying to find out where we can buy some sashimi only and, and and not sushi because all the rest all the stores just sell sushi with with the rice. I also found that I can eat my greens, the the lean plus green. Anytime during the day, I don't have to eat it with the lean. So 
the idea will be to instead of having three servings, half cups or one cup and a half cup, I'll take one of those half cups and eat it during my lunch, my one o'clock meal with my soup, whatever, just to give me some flavor for the day and a little balance. But I feel pretty good at night when I go to bed. I, I don't feel hungry or tired. Uh, well, running out of energy, I feel sleepy, but I don't feel like I'm running out of energy. So that, that'll help balance out things. Um, I was also, she also said that because I'm burning 250 calories on the bike, uh, that after the bike, I could eat some string cheese. And she suggests that uh, to give me some energy since I am burning. I will start to probably do that. I'll try to wean myself off of that. I don't want to do it too much. I did that tonight with my meal. I was feeling a little bit. It wasn't quite enough. I had uh, chicken and uh, some soup, clear soup, not a lot of calories. And the green was a really small amount of spinach, uh, boiled spinach. And I just felt that that wasn't enough. And I had the string cheese and I just back in shape. I just felt like I was more alert after that. But so I'll be looking to do that. But again, trying to wean myself off these protein packs and cheese. But if I'm doing the bike, I think it balances out. Let's see. The one thing that I uh, found on the internet and then they gave me this time when I went and they didn't give me before was this, the Metaphys Guide to Dining Out. I didn't, this is, uh, I was looking through this on the internet and I thought, this has to be wrong. This must be an old think way of thinking. But she said no. And I'm, I'll just read you, for example, if you go to Applebee's, and you, you know, they don't want you to drink any sodas, of course, no alcohol, and they want you to stick to water or unsweetened tea or coffee. That's okay. I think that makes sense. Um, nothing different there. But you can have a grilled chicken Caesar salad half. Uh, the half is the lettuce portion, not the chicken, I believe. I want to check that again. Or the lunch uh, uh, portion, which I guess is half a smaller size. And it'll even tell you how much of that. That's your one lean, your three greens right there. That sounds like a pretty good deal. Uh, if I can, uh, if I out with family or somebody like that, um, they, they have a variety of restaurants in here and it doesn't stop there. Seven ounce house sirloin. That's your one lean. Um, 12 ounce New York strip, but of course half. I don't know if you can ask the restaurant for half, but take a half and give it to somebody else who knows. Uh, seafood, shrimp, and Parmesan sirloin, half portion. Okay, so there is a little bit of a caveat. They don't want you to do the full meal. And, and I was in Japan for 25 years, and coming back, the U.S. does have very large portions here. I, I'm just amazed, and probably that's why I'm gaining the weight as well. The, um, the caveat is, you know, no croutons with your salads. Of course, it's bread and... Um, be make sure you have the portions correct. Not you might not be able to get the full portion. You so, so it's probably the same as your uh, lean and green meal, but it's there at the restaurant. You don't have to sit there and say, "I'll just uh, have a water." So that's that's nice. It's, it allows you to socialize. I also during my visit with the uh, nutritionist, I uh, asked about eight point five pounds. Is that okay? And I did it in three days. She said that's excellent. Um, no need to worry. That usually what happens, especially with men, they tend to lose weight a lot faster. Hooray for being a guy, I guess. Uh, and um, that that there was another customer or person on the program that they just met uh, before and he had lost 14 pounds in one week. And I asked how heavy he was and it's over 300 pounds, well over 300 pounds. So it depends. If you're 150 and you're trying to lose any lose eight pounds, um, maybe that's a problem. I, I don't know. But um, for my weight, I guess that's no problem. So that's safe. So but that, that concern was uh, uh, crossed off my list. <clears throat> um, and then also they did check me on the scale there. Their scale shows me uh, definitely heavier um, than I am here at home. Uh, and But there I weigh with uh, all my clothes on, wallets in my, in my pants, just ate during the day. It's not first thing in the morning and right after working out. Um, I don't remember exactly how many pounds it added onto it, about five, I think. But the key thing is the total weight loss that they had from last week to this week was about eight pounds. So my, it's the delta that is the same. The change between the top and, the, and, and how much you've lost is, is roughly the same. So I'm confident that my sick ale is showing what I'm losing. 
I may be off may, to pat the scale. I have maybe off a pound or two, and there is maybe off a pound or two, but who cares? It's really what you're starting with and what you're trying to get to and what you're going to feel like uh, afterwards. And again, as I said today, I, I can feel my pants slipping down a little bit and my uh, shoes, I can slip right into those without any much of a struggle. That's just about it. Um, and I'm overall feeling okay. A little struggle between meals, feel a little energy. Um, I will try to eat more of the cheese, well, not a lot, maybe once a day, and continue to see it. I'm, it's going to be interesting to see how it goes tomorrow because the day before I lost four, the day I lost two. I'm wondering if I'm going to start to get into that one to two a week. I'd love to do the rest of this week and lose another and get me below the 170 mark, and then that's really motivation to keep on for the next four weeks. Let's see. That's all for now, and we'll check in with you. I'll check in with you tomorrow.